Stay on Trisha. You feel everything! I can't even do this. Uh, uh, that's more, that's more. That's okay. a lot. Oh, hey, 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 hey. A woman's thong in his pants pocket. I know these not mine. Let me show you why. These are mine. Okay. Whip marks on his back. He looked like he been beat like a runaway slave. <laughs> An outrageous hidden video. <laughs> and you won't believe what she told him to stop him cheating. I just found out she was pregnant. I'm so happy and excited to be a dad. What do you want to say to him? I've been lying about being pregnant. <laughs> she found another woman's clothing in her own bedroom. It was a blue shirt I found, two sizes small. And the marks on your neck? No, oh. that's a lie. That's no. a lie. I'm not Whatever. allowed to suck on your neck. I tried to suck on your neck earlier and you wouldn't let me. Is he leading a double sex life? He come home with scratches on his back. He said he got it from stripping a car. Stripping something. Oh. You look down her friend's blouse, yeah? Yeah, but looking ain't. It might as well be cheating, Derek. It might. She them out too. No, I do not check out guys. I do not check out guys. It's a freaking lie. For these newlyweds, the marriage is hanging by a thread. You ain't coming with me in two months, Dad. All right, when did, you, when did you start accusing me of this? Oh. No. It's out oh. Hang on. No. The truth is revealed today on Trisha. Okay, this is Chantel. Now, backstage in our secluded room is her boyfriend, Lionel. Chantelle says she has every reason to believe Lionel is secretly sleeping with other women. Yeah, now, not only has Chantelle found empty condom wrappers, yeah, she's discovered whip marks on Lionel's back. Now, apparently, one time she even found a woman's thong in his jeans pocket. Now, Chantelle is desperate to tame Lionel's cheating ways, and you will not believe how far she has gone to do it. So, Chantelle, what did you tell Lionel recently to try him to get him to stay in line? Well, I told him that I was four months pregnant, and hopefully that will help, you know, yeah. make him change, make him be a better man. He thinks you're pregnant. Well, he, he, you know, he thinks. I lied to him. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Because I thought that that would, you know, change his mind, you know, well, what was and he doing him. that made you so desperate? That, so you've been faking pre He doesn't I've know this. I've been faking pregnancy he does not for know this. four months. Why? What has he been because doing? Because Lionel has been cheating. You found a thong? Oh! Where? Uh, Where? And I know these, I know these not mine. These are not mine. Let me show you why. These are not, cause he go mine. These mine, okay? These are mine. You see that? Oh, that's it don't, yours. it don't, it, it don't, uh-uh. Okay? You know what? I floss my teeth with things bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where was that? Where was it? Uh, I was doing laundry, like normal, doing our laundry. And I'm searching the pockets, you know, turning the pants inside out. Yeah. And I turned the wrong pocket inside out and pulled that out. I, how did he explain that? Uh, he said, I planted it there. <laughs> I'm guessing in your investigations, you've checked his phone. Oh, yeah, I checked his phone. Yeah, what'd you find? I find text messages from him and other females telling him that he loved them and he wants to be with them. Uh, pictures of virginas. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm dying to hear what the excuse is for those. And he just using them for money, so he have to say that to get their money. Are you serious? Has he, has he ever cheated on you before? Yeah, he's cheated before, and I took him back, trusting and thinking that I could trust him, I could give him another chance. You took him back? Yeah, he has, he has a relationship with my daughter. Okay. So he's been there since she was one. That's the only father that she knows. Right. So I'm figuring, okay, well, let me give it another try because I didn't have my parents growing up. So that's what I want my daughter to have. Yeah. So you, you, you took him back. Care. The first time he was cheating, how did you discover it? 
Uh, the girl called my phone and she told me. She told me why he was there. He was asleep. She took a picture, sent it to my phone. What? And said, Lionel is in my bed asleep. We just got through having sex. And you forgave him for that? Yes, I guess because my heart just too, you know. If the lie detector comes back and says he's cheating this time, will you forgive him again? No, his bag is packed. <laughs> Talking about you doing the laundry and, and his pockets, you found condom wrappers in Oh, yeah. Them. I found, um, doing laundry again another time, I find four condoms. Two of them were empty. Wait a minute. He says, I said, so what are these? Oh, my homeboy, he told me to hold these for him so his girl won't <laughs> say nothing. Now, what yeah. about these marks on his back? Oh, when he go come in the house and he's, uh, oh, I'm finna go out, baby, I'm finna go play uh, basketball, grab his basketball shorts, grab the actual ball, and when he come back, he look like he been beat like a runaway slave. <laughs> Welts all over his back. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in basketball. He tells me when he shot a three, his homeboy hit him on his back. So it calls for your whole back to weld up? What's going on in basketball? I need to find out. <laughs> now, now, bearing in mind, you told him, you lied to him about being pregnant because you thought his behavior would change. Yes. He's been still getting text messages. Oh, he's, it's got worse. Today, I have a text message from a female Same who what? said Lionel's been calling him and begging him could she, could she give him another chance. So, have you told him that you know about this text message yet? No. So, that's something else you're going to have to disclose yeah. today. So, that's still going on. Now, what about his... Uh, the, you said there's pictures of private parts and what have you on the phone. Private parts, how, how, do you, how do you get hold of his phone? Doesn't he try oh, and keep it close? 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm a private eye, as you all know. <laughs> I was in his phone. He was asleep. I went through his phone while he was asleep. And I'm just scanning while he's nicely resting, sleeping. And I looked at all the text messages, all the pictures, <laughs> ass, oh. vaginas, everything. Did you have to wait until he was asleep? Usually no, I, I didn't understand wait. he's got Let the me phone tell you what him. I did. Oh, what did you I do? I threw the phone at him. Let me wake you up. When he got up, he ain't had nothing to say. Uh, he just got the one phone, right? He got two phones. One, he used one because he switched his battery and all that type of stuff. See, his battery, when one break, then the other one, he got to charge it. It's so many excuses. You know how the lies go for the men that cheat. You know what I'm saying? That was one of them. Now, Chantel, I understand your, your cousin, Leilani, is here in the audience. Now, she claims she's witnessed yeah. some of these things. And, she and he don't want me to believe her. So, Leilani, where are you? What have you seen? What have you seen Lionel do? Oh, I've seen him <laughs> enough. Um, have you seen him with women? Yes, I have. Where? Oh, a couple of places, a few places. Um, one occasion, me and my friends had went out. It's a Red Lobster. Okay. Yeah. So, we sat out our table. We're sitting at the table. And across from us was Lionel. And when I say he was sitting there feeding the girl Cheddar Bay Biscuits, y'all know the Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster. <laughs> the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Lovey dovey. Them cheddar bay biscuits can be that good. When you come and tell your cousin this, what, I mean, what do you say? How can you? I cry because I'm at home with our daughter and I just thinking, you know, I'm letting my man go out and have a nice time and enjoy himself, trusting that, you know, he's not going to hurt me and that's what he's been doing. He don't even feed me. Well, we're going to find that out because when we come back, Lionel gets a chance to tell us why he feels he's being falsely accused. And Chantel, you're going to come clean with the news that you're not in fact pregnant? Mm -hmm. And what you found, in, the text messages you found in his phone mm -hmm. today? No, that she texts my phone. <laughs> well, this is where Chantel uh, lets him have it and we'll also get the results of the lie detector test. So stay with us. <laughs> Up next, I just found out she was pregnant. I'm so happy and excited to be a dad. What do you want to say to him? I've been lying about being pregnant. And later, for these newlyweds, the marriage is hanging by a thread. And the marks on your neck? No. That's a lie. I'm not Whatever. allowed to stick on your neck. I tried to stick on your neck earlier and you wouldn't let me.
The truth is revealed. Oh, you've been doing this line. Up today on Trisha. Okay. We've been talking to Chantelle, who says she has a mountain of evidence that suggests her boyfriend Lionel is cheating. And in a desperate effort to stop him, she, uh, you faked a pregnancy. You told him, what, you're four months pregnant? I told him I was four months pregnant, hoping that, you know, things would change, but it didn't. No, because you're telling me during the commercial break, this girl actually texted your phone. Yeah, she texted my phone. Saying? Uh, could, I don't call Lionel. He calls me. He blows my phone up, begging me for a second chance. Um, you told me don't call anymore, so I stopped calling him. I'm about to change my number because I'm tired of him calling. Ooh. Well, Lionel says he's innocent. He's taken a lie detector test to prove it. And to complicate things further, he's got no idea until, what, in about two minutes' time that this whole pregnancy thing has been made up. Mm -hmm. So, before we meet him, let's hear what he has to say about the accusations against him. Watch this. My girlfriend, Chantel, means the world to me. She's my queen. She's been there with me through ups and downs, and I love her for that. I admit I cheated in the past. I'm here to prove today that I'm not cheating and that I'm a changed man. This relationship means so much to me. I just found out she was pregnant. I'm so happy and excited to be a dad. Once I pass this test, I want all the arguing, the fighting, all the accusations to stop, and I just want to be a family. Okay, let's meet Lionel. Come on out. Boom. Oh. Oh. You know you cheating. You Man, need to stop lying. lying. She lying. You cheating. Oh, you know. Lionel. Lying. Stop lying. lying. So, you know you're lying. Lionel, you're the new dad, huh? Yeah. New baby on the way. Yes, ma'am. How's that? Is it making you change the way you, you're acting, do you yes. think? What, yes. more responsible, you think? Yeah, I, I don't talk on the phone around her because every time I talk to somebody, she think I'm cheating on her. So no girls, you don't... No. Nah. Any girls that you were friendly with, you, no. you're not... You wouldn't be ringing any girls? I'm not friends girls. with them no more. So that's really turned you around? Yes. What do you want to say to him? Well, I brought you here also to let you know that I've been lying about being pregnant because oh. I thought that it would change you yeah. and make you a better person, <laughs> but it didn't. So, so I ain't changed? I ain't no. changed at all? No. If you change, the girl texted me today and said what? <laughs> Lionel has been calling me, begging me for a second Man, chance. that girl is lying How you me. here to prove something to me, but you prove but how, what am I proving to her? You proving to, to her, her that you need a second chance. And if you fail this lie detector test, she gonna give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you feel? Yeah. Why do you have to lie about being pregnant? Though? Because I That's love you and I just want to hope for our relationship. It, it, it hurts. Yeah. It hurts. You yes, really believe she was pregnant? Yes. She lied to you. So what, <laughs> yeah. does that make it even? No, it's not even. It's not even? No. You, you've not lied to her? No. Okay. He always lied. That's all he no, ever do. You lied about these. Oh, yeah. You lied about these. I don't know where you, where you, you get them from. Out of your pockets. You put them there. <laughs> Why would she do I that? I told y'all I'm a private eye. I told y'all. Like, yeah. Exactly. I, man, she, she like the police. Really? Yes. Now, Just I, like the police. I, I understand that you <laughs> found some, some numbers in his shoes. Oh, cleaning up our house, lining up the shoes, <laughs> and look what I find. Lift up the shoe, the num female numbers fall out like snow. You feel Those me? are people that, that trico, I ain't talked to in a while. I ain't have a phone. I, so I why were you hiding them Man, in your shoe? Well, let's because why else I'm going to put them? You're going to go through if everything. What you mean? If there's nothing, we got a dresser, Look. a table, a counter. Yeah. It's all type of oh, house. Right. You ain't got to hide them in no shoe? Look in a that. shoe? Look, she acts like the police. Yeah. I so, go to my family house. She called my no, phone. No, but you just explain to me, yeah. why did you put them in the I shoe? I put them in there because I, I didn't I have no phone at the time. Yeah. I wrote them down when I was out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was going to talk to him. Oh, no, he I was going to talk, he I was gonna talk to him later yeah. on. It wasn't, it's not even no female but number. You, 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 put you know them... what I'm saying? She can't call none of them and oh. they say, oh, yeah, Lionel's been talking to me or been with me or none of that. So so if I want to check my phone book, all I need to do is unzip my boots? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> But, but look at Trish. My family don't even like like to be around me because how much she calls me and, and how, stalks well, she calls me. You all what, the time. what 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 you doing? Where you at? 
Who is that I hear in the background? If you weren't like cheating in the past, I wouldn't have to do that. Did if you, you want to make me feel I like you cheat, well, I, I want to find those. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't I don't have to do anymore. that. You don't cheat you know, anymore. Well, what happened at, when you were at the, the, the restaurant with the girl feeding her biscuits? Man, well, what was that see, that was a lie, man. I wasn't <laughs> no girl, no biscuits. Oh, yes, she was. you got it wrong, Leilani. Oh, uh, Leilani, she, man, she need, man, she need to get her life. No. And stay out of marriage. Stop cheating That's on all my I'm cut. saying. She need to find Be her man, get her relationship, and stay away so from her. So that her. wasn't you. He just no. mad because my private eye investigation is moving man. up. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in the club. I got I'll a be in the club with my guys or something. So I'll you... turn around. I'm dancing. You know what I'm saying? You I'll dance... turn around and see her. Who are you dancing with? With, uh, you ain't dancing with no man? No, no, I don't dance with no man All in the right club. Then. But that's what goes on in the club. You ain't got a whisper in their ear. What are you whispering? What am I? I don't nothing. whisper in nothing in no. nobody's ear. I want to hear, I wanna hear how that's you it. dance in the club. We just the, dance. Well, like, how far away would she be? She'd be like right there. I'd be like She'd right She'd be right there on the Right on it. Exactly. I'm not lying. That's the story. So you're saying you, you you owned up to when you cheated before, yes, but since then you haven't cheated at all? No. If you pass this test, um, what do you want to happen? What do you think just, is going to happen? I just want her to stop hassling me. You think you're going to pass the test? Yes. You do? I know I'm going to pass. Do you think she's insecure? Yes. She's very insecure. Why would she be insecure? He made me that way me. if I am. Look at me, Trish. I'm looking what? <laughs> I'm a handsome young man. Hey, look I'm at me. Yeah. Look at me up. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? That's why she's you're a insecure. cheater. They don't want cheating, <laughs> a cheating man. So you think you're a good looking guy? Are yes. you saying that women come on yes, to you? Yes, I attract, can't help I attract it. women. I attract women like honey attract bees. Right. <laughs> and when these women come up to you, I guess you just gotta string them along a little no, bit. No, I don't, don't string them along. along. I let you them know? go about their way. I yeah. don't need them. Yeah. So if a woman in the club comes up, y'all see how he easily breathe the lies. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> All right, Chantel. So last night, Lionel sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator mm -hmm. and polygraph mm -hmm. examiner. He took a lie detector test to mm -hmm. prove he's been faithful. So, mm -hmm. Tim. Yeah. Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, you did that. Uh, 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 you did that. <laughs> For you to put your shoes back on, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> Act like a lady. Okay. okay. Where you get them panties from? Mm. Where you get those panties from? Where you Why? get them from? Why? She them yours. Uh, she planted them. You think she planted yes, them? Okay. So did. I don't know what you you said or what the results are. I'm just going to read this this out. Tim's going to tell us whether you were telling the truth or if you were lying. Lionel, we asked you were the numbers Chantel found in your shoe from women that you met out and had intentions on calling. You said no. Tim. The lie detector determined. Coming up, have you ever had sexual contact in Chantel's bed with anyone other than Chantel? Yeah, you did. I can't even do this. Uh, uh, there's more, there's more. Man, that's a lie, man. All you've been, been telling is lying. And later, an outrageous hidden video. But first, for these newlyweds, the marriage is hanging by a thread. And the marks on your neck? No. That's a lie. I'm not Whatever. allowed to suck on your neck. I tried to suck on your neck earlier, and you wouldn't let me. Today on Trisha. Okay, meet Chastity. Chastity just tied the knot with this man, Derek, and she thought she'd live happily ever after until Chastity found expensive perfume in his car and another woman's clothing in her own bedroom. Oh. Now, Derek says he's innocent and he suspects his newlywed bride is making it all up. Both agree that a marriage is hanging by a thread. So let's listen to Chastity's side of the story. Derek means the world to me. He's the, he's the air that I breathe, and he's what keeps me going. 
My Andre's relationship right now is horrible. I'm scared whenever he leaves because I'm afraid he's out cheating. I mean, or he's out seeing some other girl. I was doing laundry one day, come across a blue shirt, two sizes too small for me. I questioned Derek about it. He said he didn't know who it belonged to, but it's a lie and I want to know who it belongs to. My husband told me that he thinks of other females whenever we're having sex. To make matters worse, he screamed out my sister's name. I love him so much, so much. I mean, I want to make it work, but I'm hurting really bad. Oh my, chastity. You haven't been married that long, sweetheart. No, I haven't. You haven't been married that long. So what was the relationship like in the beginning? It was great. When did things start going wrong? About four months ago, when we looked down my best friend's shirt. In front of you? You yes, saw him do that? Of, yes, it was done in front of me. And you're saying he's calling out, saying other things he, when you're in yes, bed he calls together? me. he's called me a dirty little whore. And did you say he called out his sister? Your yeah, family? he's called out my sister's name. What? You found a, a shirt or something? Yes, there's a blue shirt. There was a blue, I was going through my laundry or doing laundry one day, and there was a blue shirt I found, two sizes too small. I questioned him about it. He said he didn't know who it was, but I don't believe that. So are you thinking maybe he's brought some woman into the house? Maybe. Now you told your our producers that you can't even look at him when you're making love. Yeah, I can't. Why? Because I'm scared he's visual because I think he's visualizing somebody else. Does he know this? Have you he told is. him this? Now, that we, we mentioned the perfume you found in his car. How did he explain that? He said that he was detailing a car and he found it. And he brought it out and he gave it to me as supposedly a gift. Well, he don't oh, buy there you go. Me, he don't buy me gifts, Trisha, unless, unless it's my birthday or unless it's a holiday. Does he, he give you kisses and cuddles and things like no. that? No. What do you mean no? Whenever, he, whenever we sleep at night, he doesn't hold me. I hold him. He, what, he's not into kissing and cuddling? No. Really? Has he, he said don't, that He don't to let you? me touch him or anything, Trisha. He does not let Hang him. On. I can't rub on him. I can't do nothing. I, you can't touch him? No. And then there was a time he come home with scratches on his back and a hickey on his neck. He said he got it from, from stripping, stripping a car. Stripping something? Yeah, stripping something. That's what I'm saying. Stripping something. <laughs> Why did you marry him? Because at first what we had was good. But was he showing you, uh, you know, he was, he was showing me affection, him. emotion, and all that. Now he shows no emotion, he shows no affection, anything. All right, well, I guess uh, you wouldn't be surprised to hear Derek denies it all and says he knows the real reason behind Chastity's accusations. We'll also get to the results of his lie detector test. Stay tuned. <laughs> Up next, is he leading a double sex life? And the marks on your neck? No, oh. that's a lie. That's a lie. I'm not Whatever. allowed to suck on your neck. I tried to suck on your neck earlier and you wouldn't let me. And later, an outrageous hidden video. Everybody's lying except you, Lionel. Mm -hmm. You are the fire. Get off my stage. The truth is revealed. Oh, you have been on this line. Up today on Trisha. We're back with Chastity, who fears her newlywed husband of 10 months, Derek, is cheating. Now, Chastity says Derek has a wondering eye. She's even caught him looking down her own friend's shirt. Now, Derek says, and many guys would understand this, that looking doesn't mean cheating. Right. There's a whole discussion there. Well, he's taken a lie detector test to clear his name. We're just moments away from those results. But first, let's hear his side of things. Let's welcome Derek. Hi there. Hi. Hi. So you saying you never cheated? No, I've never cheated on her. But you look at women? Sometimes. You look Sometimes, all the time, Derek. It don't matter. I can sit there. The I can just barely glance at See? a chick and I'm sitting there constantly gawking. It's because you she do. Says. I mean, if I sit there and just glance like out there, I'm gawking. Right. You get accu accused all the all time. All the time, constantly, no matter you, what. But you look down her friend's blouse, yeah? Yeah, but looking ain't... It is. It, it might as well be cheating, Derek. It might be... 
taking them out too? No, I do not take out guys. I do not take out guys. It's a freaking lie. Ah. What do you think? She sees the women before you see them. She right. thinks, uh-oh, here comes right. a woman. And it don't matter. It, that's the first thing she thinks. Uh-oh, there's a woman. He's going to be checking them out. Because you do, Derek. That's what you do. That's what you do. I can go out of my way not to look at them. Not You're still out. looking at them wherever you ain't looking at them. See? You're still doing it. You see how that is? Even if I'm not looking at him, Amy, I'm still looking at him. Hang on, hang on, just a minute. I've got to ask, I've got to ask the other guys in the audience here. Guys naturally look at women, check women out, right? Right. Stand up and but, you're a guy but, in a relationship and you still check out other women. Stand up, I want to see you, stand up. Tell me about the perfume in the car. I strip cars, all right, anything I find in a car, I take to my boss and if she don't want it, I can take it home. That's all right. Expensive right. perfume for your yeah. boss not to want. And the marks on your neck? No. Oh. That's a lie. No. That's a lie. I'm Whatever. not allowed to suck on your neck. I tried to suck on your neck earlier and you wouldn't let me. That's a lie. That's a lie right there. I don't care what do you, you say. You, you do too. Even though you're not supposed to, you, you do. You got a hickey on your neck right now. I tried to suck on your neck earlier and you wouldn't let me. Because oh. I got to go to work later. I still got to go back to work. Okay. And it don't take. If you sit there and suck on my neck, I'll have that hickey for a week. Is it true that you don't like kissing or cuddling or anything like that? You don't. After she sits here and accuses me of all this stuff that I ain't doing, I ain't gonna. I don't want to cuddle. I don't want to kiss. It turns me off. You ain't it done it. You ain't. You ain't cuddled with me in two months, Dad. Uh, when, when did you start accusing me of this? When did you four start? Four months ago. Four months ago. And how long do you expect me to? It, it turns well, me off. It is a turn off. It would be a turn off. But Trish, you and gotta it's understand. And, and it's not doing it. Hang on, just a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you call out her sister's no, name? No, that's a lie. So that's let's get the results of the lie detector test. If he's lying, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave him. You are. If he's okay. If he's telling the truth, what are you going to do? I'm going to apologize, and, I'm, and then I'm going to learn how to trust him. Right. Are you gonna stop with the accusations? Oh, what did I just say? Now that that don't oh, mean you're don't gonna stop. That again. don't mean you're gonna oh, stop with the accusations. Shut up. All right. That does not mean. All right. All right. Let's go now. And I will stop with the accusations, Derek. If you pass this test, if you fail it, it's over. Okay. I do not know what those results are. Tim Acosta, who's in our audience, is going to help me with that. Now, we asked you, Derek, did the shirt chastity found in your car belong to someone you had sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined, Derek. Coming up, an outrageous hidden video. <laughs> Everybody's lying except you, Lionel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Up next, for these newlyweds, the marriage is hanging by a thread. Oh. Were the scratches found on your back that you said were from fixing a car, really from sexual contact with someone other than chastity? You said no. Tim? Oh. Today on Trisha. Derek means the world to me. He's the, he's the air that I breathe, and he's what keeps me going. I was doing laundry one day, come across a blue shirt, two sizes too small for me. My husband told me that he thinks of other females whenever we're having sex. To make matters worse, he screamed out my sister's name. I love him so much, so much. I mean, I want to make it work, but I'm hurting really bad. So you're saying you never cheated? No, I've never cheated on her. Did you call out her sister's no, name? No, that's a lie. So let's get the results of the lie detector test. If he's lying, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave him. I do not know what those results are. Tim Acosta, who's in our audience, is going to help me with that. Now, we asked you, Derek, are you in love with chastity? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined Derek was being truthful. Yes. She saw hickeys on your neck. Were they from someone other than chastity? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined 
He was being truthful. We asked you, did the perfume chastity found in your car belong to a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined he was not being truthful. Oh. No. Let's find out the whole story. Do you want to sit down and hear the whole thing? That's okay. a lie. Oh, that's hey, 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 hey. That's hey. a lie. Hang on. Let me keep reading. We ask you, did the shirt chastity found in your car belong to someone you had sexual contact with? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Derek was not being truthful. That's a lie. We asked you. That's a lie. Found on your back that you said were from fixing a car, really from sexual contact with someone other than chastity. You said no, Tim. The lie detector determined Derek was not being true. That's a lie. Well, Derek, here's the thing. We asked if you were in love with chastity. The lie detector got that one right, according to you. We uh, asked you about system. the hickeys, and the lie detector got that one right. But then when it came to the other things, you failed. So it's either right all the way through or wrong all the way through. <laughs> Um, now, okay, let's talk. Just calm down, let's talk. I We're gonna work through this because you know what? Oh, I ain't lying. never mind. Misery loves company, baby, and I'm gonna be that misery. Right, well, I ain't oh, here. I'm telling that. the truth. And I don't care what that lie detector test says, I'm telling the truth. Okay. I ain't had sexual contact. Okay, fine. Would you, would you just there and believe you? Because, it don't because matter. why, Derek? So, it don't why matter. should I believe you? Just right. a minute, just a minute. Let me ask you, Derek, so if you're saying that's wrong, are you saying that the lie detector also got the ones wrong when no. you said, oh, how come no, it gets I, those I, right? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why those sit there and say that I'm lying when I was telling the Tim, truth. Tim, would you like to say anything? He had significant reactions to those questions I asked him, okay? He understood completely that I was... Every question that I asked him yep. was related to him while he was in a relationship with his wife. So in if he went out, out and did what he did and he was broken up with her or separated or on a break. This is when he thought, totally as far as they were concerned, they were actually in a relationship together. Absolutely. And the lie detector, it's all... It's a girl always say flower. that. I'm not stupid. No, it's not. It's I'm always not. strange how the lie detector you know gets what? some right and some wrong. Tell me who it is then. There ain't nobody. If he decided to come clean and stop with this, I didn't, you know, when it's so... I've never seen it so obvious. It, I would suggest to you that you work with our counsellor yeah, about getting our relationship yeah. together. I would. But I, any marriage guidance counsellor will tell you they can talk about the problems around the relationship, but unless both parties are honest, you haven't got a footing for a, a, any trust in the relationship. He wants to stick to his story, so there's nothing that I can work with. Yeah. And the only thing that a counsellor can... Yeah, right. Uh, the only thing that the counsellor can actually do is work... That's why you show no emotion or anything, Derek, to me, is because you've been cheating. No, That's I ain't exactly been cheating. Why. And I don't care. I don't, whatever, I ain't do been cheating. you know what? So. See a counsellor to work on yourself. Get yourself strong. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back. Up next... An outrageous hidden video. Everybody's lying except you, Lionel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are the fan. Get off my stage. Revealed. Oh, you've been telling this line. Up today on Trisha. My girlfriend Chantel means the world to me. She's my queen. She's been there with me through ups and downs, and I love her for that. I admit I cheated in the past. I'm here to prove today that I'm not cheating and that I'm a changed man. I just found out she was pregnant. I'm so happy and excited to be a dad. Once I pass this test, I want all the argument, the fighting, all the accusations to stop, and I just want to be a family. What do you want to say to him? Well, I brought you here also to let you know that I've been lying about being pregnant because I thought that it would change you yeah. and make you a better mm -hmm. person, but it didn't. Yes. It hurts. Do you yes, really believe she was pregnant? Yes. You've not lied to her? No. Okay. He always lied. That's all he no, ever I don't do. Trust you. you lied about these. 
Oh, yeah. You lied about these. I don't know where you, where you, you get them from. Out of your pocket. You put them there. Last night, Lionel sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator, mm -hmm. and polygraph mm -hmm. examiner. He took a lie detector test to mm -hmm. prove he's been faithful. So, mm -hmm. Tim. Yeah. Tim. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, you did that. Ah, 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 you did that. <laughs> For you to put your shoes back on, sweetheart. All Don't right. <laughs> act like a lady. I'm just going to read these, this out. Tim's going to tell us whether you were telling the truth or if you were lying. Lionel, we asked you when you told Chantal you went to jail. Did you say you went to jail? Yes. You did I go did. to jail. I, you I did. went. Right. Yes. You did. Really? Yeah, yes. What? What do you mean? You said uh, in Chicago when you get locked up, they put numbers on your arm to you know say who you are, whatever. Yeah. Um, he came in with the numbers on his arm. But when I called the police station, they had no record of his ass. <laughs> man, that's a lie, man. She lied, man. So, everybody's lying except you, Lionel. Mm hmm We asked you, when you told Chantel you went to jail, were you really in jail? You said yes, Tim. The lie detective determined he was not being truthful. I knew you. Are the marks that Chantel saw on your back from sex with someone other than Chantel? You said no, Tim. The lie detector determined Lionel was not being truthful. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! We asked you, have you ever had sexual contact in Chantel's bed with anyone other than Chantel? Yeah, you did. You said no, Tim. The lie detector determined Lionel was not being oh. truthful. You That's a lie, man. Lying, That's well, a lie, man. Shut up, man. That's more talk. Come here, man. I told you, Chantel. I told you. I've been telling you. Okay. I've been telling you. That's a lie, man. No, you've been telling you. I've 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 been Mm. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Now, Chantal, there's something more that I think that you uh, should see. Um, yesterday, our producers sent a male decoy to our green room to see if Lionel was being up. And I don't know what went on there, but we're going to see now what we've uncovered. Let's have a look. She asked, have I ever had sex in her bed? Yes, I did. But I said, no. I'm not telling them the truth. Have I had sex with three women, five, or seven? You don't say more than seven. <laughs> <laughs> what is what she's hearing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does she know it? <laughs> you know it or not? I don't know. You cannot be a fake man in this world. Damn! Laughing matters is the same in her life for five years. Okay, this is your opportunity to come clean. Instead of saying everybody else is lying, you know, the cops are lying, everybody else is lying, you admitted it there. You didn't know that you were admitting all of those things. So you've been messing around on her, what? No, the I relationship? never did nothing with her, man. So you were lying and there. you know that. Do you want to have another look? And we'll be quiet and listen to what you had to say on this tape. Let's have another look at what, what oh, our decoy oh. found. Yeah, and I want you to listen to it. She asked, have I ever had sex in her bed? Yes, I did. But I said, no, I'm not telling them the truth. Have I had sex with three women, five or seven? You don't say more than seven. <laughs> what, what she's hearing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does she know it? <laughs> Does she know it or not? I don't know. You cannot be a fake man in this world. You look like you're in tears. Why are you in tears? Because it's just the fact of the matter that she's been with him for five years and he just... Are you crying for her or are you crying for you? For her. I'm fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Should we ask the audience, how many of you think that Lionel's lying? Yay! Yay! And what do you want to do? 
when we get back home, his bag is packed. He will come and get it. I drop it out the window, and your ass is out. Okay. Nothing I can do for you. Thank you, Trisha. The truth is revealed. Oh, you've been on this line. Up today on Trisha. Remember, this show is about real people with real problems getting some real solutions. And wow, do we have a real audience? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.